Welcome to Factorio Pays in a Book. My name is Nilaus and this is episode 23 of our Let's Play. Or you can say it could be love, uh, episode 1 of the second stage. We've completed what I would call, or I am calling, the red stage. And we're working in our way into the blue stage. So before we just dive into what I will call the great blue update is... This base is launching a rocket now and then, not fast, not amazing, not anything actually. And what we're being, what we're working on right now is wanting to scale it up. So right now, all of our science here is 1.5 per second. If it's actually working and it's not because I'm just not having, for example, enough here. So what our objective is, is to go through every single one of these items here and scale them up so that we get as much throughput as we can but with the constraint that these belts are going to be blue belts and then everything we want there. So that means there will be some things that just can't, there's going to be an upper limit to how much we can scale because I only have the opportunity to take 12 belts of iron, 12 belts of copper inbound, two belts of steel, and that's going to be our hard limit on what we can do. And yeah, so that's going to be the objective. That means that will be a base that will probably be doing more like, 300 science per minute instead of the 150 so it's i think it's actually going to be more than double it should be more than doubling and all of this is prepared for it so the first thing we want to do is make sure that when we do this upgrade there are three things that will be constraining us blue belts modules and beacons not beacons actually power so blue belts modules and power Power is something where we have plenty of already because of the design I've done. It's already taken care of for everything here it can be scaled up to modules, beacons, as crazy as we like, and it'll still have enough power. That is part of the design. The blue belts here, well, what we're going to do is we're going to start You're looking at our upgrade planner here, and it will now be changed to change it to having blues on this there. that one and get the blue on the other one and also take these two now it's going from blue to yellow and also there must be something else there must be down here we I don't want know if I want to do that there will be some things it'll it'll have to be in stages what we can do now is <laughs> let's let's just for the hell of it look at this so we're gonna have 33,000 belts and 4.7k and 1k of those so that's a bit more than what we have because at this moment we have about 10,000 express belts and we need 33,000 we have 1,000 here and we need 5,000 so what we need to do is make sure that that one gets faster so let's start with taking our hub and upgrading that so the hub will now be faster I will also do my, my hub up my upgrade up here that will also be upgraded and this one not for any particular reason, but simply for a sense of completeness. Now this one will also be updated. And at this point, I think we, we're we still going to have some of these. But we're not going to have as many. I th think that it's time for us to also go 800 of these. There. That will start filling up our inventory quite a lot. 200 and 200. And... 100 and 100 there and the other ones can then be scaled down to let's say like 400 don't want that many of these and 100 there and also i do not want any of these anymore yep it is done we will not use these i'll get 100 and 100 good then let's like look at our options here i'm going to make this as fast as possible this as fast as possible because these are going to be the, the bottlenecks for getting this one working. Oh, currently we have actually a lot of these. Great. Let's go around and finding the stuff that we really need to upgrade. This one is going to now start using... You can see here, this is... Obviously, we're going to be consuming way too much. <laughs> way too much from the line. But we still have some tricks up our sleeves that we can do. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to need these things anymore. I think instead I will want to have my beacons and modules and modules listed here so I can easily do that that one here there 
and there. That works. And I will get all of these. Now that there'll be a hell of a lot more productivity. And they'll use a lot less. It's good. None of these will be constrained by the inserting capacity. They will insert as much as they can. And it actually looks pretty good. That will keep this line flowing better. Uh, let's see. That one has one there. That one has one there. Maybe I'll do that one. Yeah. And they're definitely competing. Most of it is probably not going to get in here. That one as well should not be 100, but should be 500. Because we're also going to need a lot of that as well. So that's the first part of the upgrade. The second part of the upgrade is obviously going to be, well, our inputs just can't keep up at this point. And that is, is going to be the first thing we want to upgrade will be the iron, iron part. And I'm going to just upgrade it down here. That's going to be like 600. I think I'll just do it all the way down here. There we go. And then you might think that I am doing something stupid. Um, sometimes I do, but not this time. This is actually intended. If we go continue to go down here, and you can see this one. This sh should not work taking four red lines in, four blue lines out. It doesn't work, except it actually does, because I am not going to have a constant demand for iron on all these lanes. So... I, my estimate is that it's probably going to be fine if I take 120 in here and then if three of them are being consumed fully then that's fine because I am splitting it between this one and that one and actually I am also seeing that there's a problem as well because the last one hold on that's so silly that just has to be changed doesn't it see I have one, two, three. I have 12 outbound and I have 12 inbound. That just doesn't make any sense for me to take two here, two here. It obviously needs to make sure that I have uh, this one. These 12 have to go into those 12, but not evenly, but some kind of split so that it's, it's working better. And since there are four here, I could do like one, one, and one. Eh. It, it's going to be fine. I will think it'll be fine. We'll also upgrade this one. As you can see, we start really consuming these quite rapidly. And then all of this is simply to find the stuff that is most critical to update. All the time. So this is <clears throat> not quite there yet. There. Now let's look at this. Do we get enough inbound yes i think we do it looks like everything is saturated and our production up here is as fast as possible nothing is it's it's all going to be contained the reason why i sometimes have a blue here and a green here is because i want this one to take the majority from this side and yeah that's that's why cool that is good we are obviously going to have next things so let that's going to be one thing that we are definitely going to be suffering from I want to do an upgrade of all of the all of the science, but only a bit later. Then I'm going to go up here, and this one will be the next one that we really severely are missing at. And that is missing because of partially red, but mainly blues. Okay, so... Oh, I've also, by the way, set all of these to have a maximum of 5,000, because I want them to always work. So why, is, why do we not have enough... Why do we not have enough blue signs? It's actually because of red signs. Oh, sorry. Blue circuits because of red circuits. Why do we not have enough red circuits? Well, I actually... it It's pretty simple here. All of these lines are full. So it's simply a matter of the production. The fact that this thing, this whole thing here is only producing 18 per second. And the entire base is not surprisingly consuming more than 18 per second. So I'm just going to do an upgrade here. Obviously, I don't need the belts to be upgraded here. Uh, actually, because I don't need the belts to be upgraded, I'm not going to upgrade the belts. I'm just going to do this upgrade here. Because there is no reason to waste belts when they're still in short supply on something that just doesn't need it. There we go. So 
let's do this upgrade. Once this upgrade is done, we're going to take a look again at the values we have and see if that works, how much we increased. We started with 18 and then we're going to scale up from here. And this once this upgrade is done, is it done? Is it done? No, it's not. This is done. This is done. Just the last bits. Yep. Okay. So just with this part, how much did we increase? We increased it now to 30. That's much better. Still only one belt. So at this point, we need to do something more. And this is where I think, oh, I think I actually want these ones in here. I think it is time for us to start using these, but I can't afford to use Productivity Module 3. They are simply too expensive at this point, and I'm going to need a stupid, stupid amount. So what I need to do is start <clears throat> cranking up the production of this. I also forgot that. that I knew there was something that was missing here. This one, give me like 200 at least. And also just throw in some speedies there. Go, go, go. And all the way up here for the purple signs. Maybe we have some stockpiled. Oh, we do. So grab those. Yummy. There you go. That is glorious. Uh, although it's actually... Um, There. Ah, good. I managed to not get them stolen by my robots. Is there a place that isn't a part of the RoboPort network? Nope. All right. So now I have like a stupid amount of these in my inventory, which is exactly what I want. And then now I need to figure out sort of the balance. If I look at the balance like this, this is on this one. It is exactly right. Perfect. Which is what we would expect. And then if I build all of this, all of this down here. Then we're going to do again. This is just to look at the ratio, not the amounts. The ratio is now a, a net positive of the copper coils, copper cables. So that's good. Now we can start making some beacons because that will speed things up. And this will just be the small ones. And go all the way down here. And we're again going to check ratios. Still a positive number. It's all good. And I can then do... Hmm. Basically, what I need to do now is delete that. I have kind of forgot that I should have done this. No reason to upgrade. Could have just deleted the whole damn thing instead. That one. And I want primarily my own robots to take care of it. So let's get you in there. Boop. Remember, with with we started with 18... And we then, by upgrading to yellow assemblers, we got to 30. Now we're going to see where we are when we upgrade all of it to modules and beacons. Although it's just modules mark 1 and beacons mark 1. We will, however, probably see that we start having issues with inputs. But that is that is what it is. Uh, these are here. And then I can take... Oh, I did not delete you. Well, do that now. Here we go. And then I take this one. Boom. Good. And that one. I don't know. Maybe there's a problem with this. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think they can get in this error state here. Sometimes they can if I leave the... If I leave the copper, pl copper plates on the belt, then this one is always jamming. But I deliberately avoided this because I was sick of jamming it. <laughs> Like that. Oh, and we can just do these kind of things. There we go. And these kind of things as well. And some greens as well. What? It's not greens. And that, some copper here. Don't want any of these in my inventory. Do we have enough of this? I don't think so. And we have some attacks in here. We now have 200 missing. Ugh. Where's our spider -ton? We only have one spider -ton so far. It's okay to only have one spider -ton. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. I hope it's good enough to do that. And this is kind of what we are waiting for. We need this one to be upgraded. That is not a problem. I will be going over here and again stealing something from the purple signs. While it's been desperately trying to keep up with the purple signs, then I just come in here and scrounge what I want from it. Like that. 
It's not quite 200, but it is. It's actually a fair bit. There. And we will see that once we go down here, it will be happy. Look at how happy it becomes. And we're then down to only 50 remaining. That's not bad. That's not much. We don't want to take this sort of the the value of it yet until we actually have the whole damn thing done. 55 missing. Now, the next thing that's absolutely not good enough is this one. This one deserves to be an upgraded. And of course it doesn't need, well, it might need it. But what's really, really important here is the fact that I get more productivity in here and more productivity in here. There we go. And then we'll probably see other issues with the actual the stuff coming in here. That is for us to fix shortly. And do I have any of these? I have seven. So let's get those out. Where are we at? We are at 50, 49. Okay. And I don't know what this crafting speed is at this point. This is good. This is good. And this one is just desperately working. I don't really know how many I need beyond this. Uh, I think with this one is 3.75. So that means one in one four. So uh, I don't know. Four seconds, I think, is uh, the time it takes for for each of those to be crafted. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, okay. I already got nine. We just want these done. How much are we down to? We're down to 38. Okay, I'm going to do another scroung scrounging run up here. We will then take a look at where the next issues are and figure out what we can do about it. That one. Oh, okay, I didn't have anything. I uh, barely have anything here. There. Did not intend that. There, there. Just grab these. Grab, grab. How many we got? We got 42. And that should be, how many did we say we're missing? We're missing 40, perfect. Then we can take a stock of the situation and see how much we have improved the red production. There we go, that red one is done. I can now see how much we've upgraded it with all the modules. Oh, that's not much. <laughs> 30 per second, that was 30 before and we just put poured a ton of modules in here and that didn't do anything. Huh, that's super uh, disappointing. Oh yeah, there's also the part that this one is 52. And if the, I could get it sort of very close to 60, actually could get it higher than that. You can also see if I'm produce, I'm consuming 40, 52 plastic and I only have a total of 60 produced for all of it, then we're gonna have trouble, aren't we? Oh, and now I know. Now I know why it's so bad. Okay, good, good, good. Ah, man. That made sense. I was just, I just couldn't figure out why it did not make any, make any uh, sense this part. There we go. That needs to be done. Once that's done, it'll all make sense and it'll be definitely be more than 30 per second. I, was like, hmm. I knew this was slowing down the speed. And that one's done. That one's done. This one, I'm just going to be ready to help put modules in. There. How many more? Just a few more modules, but they should be coming in here, right? They are coming in to me. Yeah, 20. Oh, 25. Huh. They could be up here and go. Get the last bits. That one, that one. Nothing missing. Okay, we'll do one more time. That one. What do we get now? 41. It's still not a lot, but it's something. And we're up to 72 here. Now, what I'm considering is, how about the possibility that I crank this up so that I consume 45 here? Because that means, uh, sorry, 90 here. Because that means I, I will definitely have enough for this, yes. And I could do that by that, that upgrade. Simply put, that's gonna be, oh, undo. Oh, undo probably breaks things. Okay, yeah. And I think I have to do it manually then. It's 
not too bad. And I'll get more. Please give me more. And I want to see if I can get this to... If I can get it up to consume exactly or very, very close to 90, then I know that I can take these two dedicated lines that I'm going to be building here. This one also needs to be scaled up and use that as well. And we are getting these inbound. Yes, all 50 of them. So just wait here when they're coming in. They come in slowly, so start working on them. Oh, but don't use the last ones because then you lose it from the inventory. There, there, there. Come on, robots. Bring it in faster. You know, actually, since we're building these kind of things, I think it's just good to have more. It's going to be our primary and definitely... Oh, I have only 10 of these. Well, 50 it is indeed. Just want to make sure. And for anyone who wonders why I'm not using upgrading the other ones, it's, it is because they are too expensive to upgrade to Mark 3 assemblers. Oh, sorry, Mark 3 modules at this point. There we go. All of this is updated. I am going to do this part and see where we are now. Should be somewhat higher. Ooh, 102. That's a bit much. But it's also providing a decent amount outbound. But, you know... Mm, it is actually too much. <laughs> I overdid it. Hmm. Yeah, because there's no way that this will ever be full. But that's, uh, that's going to be the next thing. Because I think we need to work on this part. This part needs to be updated. And that's going to be very heavy on modules and beacons. But in order for us to even get started on that, we are going to take these are the primary ones. And therefore, there's a reason why this is going to be called the great blue update it is simply because i want uh you know it's probably better to take all of this part and simply upgrade this how much is that 3.7 sure get it off we go and if we undo then these ones will break if one of them gets replaced with doing an upgrade and then you undo or you something happens, then it just breaks again. It's it's pre pretty bad. Let's see how we have here. We're down to 6.5. I'm going to be trying to do to be modest about this. But there are some things where I just don't care about. Yeah, of course, this one doesn't need to be a blue belt. But there's also a bit about consistency. Now, this one is going to be an absolute nightmare. Because if you look at this, I have 16 lanes out here. But two of them are not used here and two of them are not used here. So if I have 16 lanes of red, that's pretty close to, to 13. Uh, 16 lanes of red is pretty close to 12 lanes of blue. And that's exactly what I need. So my trick is I'm going to kill one from each. I'm going to take these three out and they're going to go one, two, three. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the next and next and next and next and next. And that is going to be an absolute nightmare to do. But I'm going to do it because I have to do it. And I think that's something we'll just do for the first one. So you can kind of get an idea about what I mean. First and foremost. I think this is the top one. So that should always be taken the closest. That's going to be a good rule of thumb. And then the second one. These are being upgraded. I want this one to be blue or all the way oops that is not going to be here get that out because this one will be going in there which it can't but damn damn here 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 You know what? It is what it is. This one has to be in this one. And that one has to be removed. I don't know. Maybe I do this one instead. And then just 
do it that way. I don't know if that's a good idea. Probably not. And blew up. Take that out. Okay. So does this make any sense? Of course, this also has to be upgraded from here. Otherwise, it makes no difference. You could use a 4 to 3, but I find that a 4 to 4 and just take one of the lines out is actually better. It shouldn't be, but it is. And this one as well. Oops. There. And I'm going to kill the top row. Always kill the top row. I think that's the safest. And then I'm going to do again this one. Should then be going into number two, like that. I can't. I, that doesn't make any sense. You know, you know what? Let me just uh, muck about with this. I have a feeling that it, it... I know that it can be done. And it just needs to be... Just practice it a bit here. Cool. So let me do that. And we're back again. So that was a bit of a spaghetti mess, but I think I've untangled it to a degree where I think I'm pretty happy with it. So what we have here is four going into three, one, two, three, four going into three, one, two, three, four going into three, into one, two, and three, and then the final one down here, one, two, and three. It all works. It's all good. There are just a few things. I've also upgraded all of the Iron belts to blue, so that they are going to be fine all the way up here. Let me just get that little robot who got kind of lost. There we go. Let's have a look at our state of uh, blue belts. 6,000 blue belts. We are also getting quite a lot of red belts uh, available back into the circulation. Oh, here's another super important one to upgrade. That one. Because it allows you to get two more of them. It's not because we're going to be crafting faster. It's just because we want to get more productivity output. What is this one constrained at? This one's constrained at 100. That is plenty. And we have enough over here. None of this needs to be upgraded. These don't really need to be upgraded here. But yeah, you know. That one. Just give us some extra there. It's a one-time thing. All right. So what we now need to do here, we have the blue. All of this is blue. Except that one. I want to make sure that our copper and iron comes in as blue first before anything else because those are the things that I need like high throughput. Oh, and that one is steel, so that's not a problem. This one is also still red. So though this one is not actually one of those that's super busy. Let's make sure it's also updated. Let's see that, that, yeah, this is good. This is good. And over on the side, this is also good. Yep. This is updated all the way over. We need to upgrade plastic as well, but that's uh, that's going to be another time because we got stuff to do. I'm going to... What? Is this updated? Ah, this one's not updated. And sometimes I'll just do that one because eventually we need everything updated anyway. So let's just do that. I don't think it'll break. Well, it shouldn't break anything. But we want to make sure that all these belts are now coming in at the correct rate. Then we can start looking at this monstrosity and go, you know what? That probably deserves an upgrade, downgrade, whatever. Well, upgrade. More than more upgrade than downgrade. We'll uh, do this one so that it cleans out the belt. And then we'll take a look at a upgrade to this one. I, I think it can be done in a clever way. Yay, I think it can be done in a clever way. That's, uh, that's what I mean by that is I think we can do it by by only sort of replacing some things and then putting in beacons instead. But there's also like the easy way and let's just remove the whole thing and put it in again. Let me just show you what I mean. So this is the final upgrade of this one. You can see that pretty much everything has to be upgraded. But if I first upgrade everything to blue belts, then we will see that it works. But if I don't replace the, or sorry, not blue belts and yellow assemblers, but if I don't replace them, then I have to manually go in and put stuff in here. And I don't bother with that. Uh, we are going to let this one empty and then we can just from this path down here. Uh, they're still like, chucking along. They still have like a tiny bit left. Is that the point where we just say, I don't care and just go remove the whole damn thing? Yep. It apparently is. 
And then I can take out the new one, which is going to be right there. And it will be like that. What was the problem with that? Ah, uh, there's some uh, yellow belts here. And obviously these don't exist. And the funny thing is, I only need one belt inbound. That's pretty cool, I think. Which will just change a lot of things on, on the dynamics here. But they will now need dedicated belts. So I'm going to go like this. Dedicated belt. There you go. Next one. Dedicated belt. All the way up here. Can I take a dedicated belt here? Mm, I probably could. But I don't think I want to. That one. That one. So it's basically having the same input as before, but it's having more output. And I'm going to just make sure that there's something really weird about this one. Because I need these on the outside. Huh? How is this one and that one not connected? Uh, there must be something goofy about it. Let's do that. There we go. And this will now be upgraded. And we should be seeing much better throughput. We want to make sure that we wait until all of these modules and beacons are done. Once they are done, then we can... I'll just take a look at the actual throughput there and there. Are we done with this one? I think nothing more is waiting. Okay, cool. So let's take a look. How much do we get? We get 98, which is obviously too much, but it's, it's what we need. And I get 70, 70 inbound, so it's not really consuming much. This is now two full blue belts out. And you can see what a magnificent difference that makes here. And this one has to be killed as well. And it actually frees up a lot of resources. We're using less res well, slightly more resources, but who's counting? There. So upgrading, you will notice, and I'm sure that some people will dislike it, I am not upgrading these and there is a very specific reason why I'm not upgrading this. Uh, the reason is that it is, I'm getting 20% productivity out of it. That's not a lot because a furnace can only take that, but I'm going to need so many modules to build it. And I don't have those modules. I'd much rather just say, you know, this thing here, I might be consuming more copper than I strictly need. I'll consume like 25% more than I, I need, but I don't care. I don't care. That's trivial. Just put another train. These are going to be fine. Not a big deal. What I'm really interested in is to make sure that my lines coming in here will be used as efficiently as possible. Now that's something I'm interested in. These two have to go up because those are the ones that cause issues here. That one and that one. And then we need to do redo belt lines here. This one is out. And you might think, oh no, what is he going to use all that beautiful copper for then if he's not even using it here? Well, don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll find a way. We'll find something to use it for, such as... Oh, I don't know what's not working here, but something is not working. such as uh, low density structures. Low density structures is going to need more. That will just be in here. It's going to be the same result. That is good. I'm going to get all this. Do I have anything to add here? It's a bit weird why my robots... Oh, it's productivity modules. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of being a drag on that part. And I'm going to see if I can sort this out. Still, for some reason, not enabled. There. Still not. There's That's the biggest problem with this one, is that this and this are not connected, and this are not connected. I could also just put them these out here, but I don't know. I think that's a bit overkill. And in, in the end, it is all working here. Are we getting the 100 in? Ah, look at that. 38. So... Uh, Already now, already now, we have consumed every single one of our modules that we could use. And that's basically the problem here. 
What is supposed to come down here? That's red circuits. Why are red circuits completely dead? They're completely dead because that one wasn't working and that one is the one that feeds. And this one as well. I think I might as well do this. There. More blue updates. Let's look at the blues. Blues are decreasing 4.8k. Next time we'll, uh, we'll be looking at the upgrades for oil and plastic and that kind of thing because that's going to be the next pit. But we also need to figure out some other things that we can update because it is not possible for us to keep updating. Oh, there we go. These are out. Oh, it's not possible for us to keep updating only modules and beacons because we simply don't produce enough modules and beacons. So our objective is to make sure that we increase the iron and copper flow and for the iron flow for the belts and the copper and iron flow for the green circuits, which go into blue, go into red circuits, which then need to get the plastic increased so that we can have a stable and more and better production of blue circuits so that we can have a better production of modules. This one also really needs to be upgraded, by the way. It is actually fully saturated belts. That's really weird to see that. Then I definitely need to do this one. That one. That one. That one. Ah, that, that happens. This is looking good. This is looking good. And we now have green circuits are good. Here, uh, it does look like there's something. Oh yeah, it's it's fine. Here, I want this line here to be feeding everything, and of course, there's going to be some issues here, like that one. Uh, that, that's just that's definitely an issue, and I can see that. How would I do that? You know, this doesn't need to be right there. It could be a lot of other places than exactly right there. So that could also be an option. That one. There. And this one as well can also be let's figure that out uh, that really has to come from here and go into that one for sure well see this is fine except for that one as well Don't like, but this is a very low quantity, right? Nope, it's not low quantity. Shit. Definitely not low quantity. So that is a mess, but it kind of works. This one is actually going here. Yep. Anyone else? That one is coming from here. That one's coming from here. This one here, 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 and here. Okay, so these are all... I don't want this belt here to be used for anything except for the red side, red circuits, and it is. Well, isn't that actually going to be just easier if I did that? Yeah, it is. Nice. There. Well, that was easier. And there we go. Alright, so what we've done now is we have upgraded the red circuits, we've upgraded the green circuits, we have... Why is that coming from over there? Uh, it shouldn't. Let's just see. One, two, three, four, and this one will then be a dedicated line. Here. Here, here, here. Yeah, don't want those. I want these dedicated lines. There we go. That's dedicated lines for you and for me. 
And that means I only have two full lanes up here, which is actually what I need for this one, right? If I look at this, go. I'm going to use as much copper plates as I can as I'm not going to quite. I'm going to use less copper plates than I'm going to use greens. So if these are all full belts and I'm going to bring two full belts of green in, then bringing two full belts of red in here as well is going to be just fine. That means this one does not need to go any further, but it will then just be killed off at this location. Right? So these two lanes will be dedicated into this block and nothing goes further. Yep, that has to be done right now. Otherwise, I'll go crazy. That is going to be one of them. And then... That's going to be the other one. Nope. Oh dear, that was not great. There. Saved it. This is okay. And that is okay. And then it just basically alternates between the inside and the outside. Why are we getting so many of these? There. Here. Take all that out. And the last one in there. Boom. That is super nice. Oh, I said boom again. Damn it. I did not know that I'm saying that all the time, but that's okay. Here. So what we have now is we have dedicated lines. We've done now six de eight dedicated lines, six dedicated lines going into the green circuit production and two dedicated lines going to the red circuit production. Brilliant. I have two dedicated lines of green circuits going into the red circuits. And then I need to have two dedicated lanes of plastic coming in. And that's going to be the next thing. We are going to keep looking at this 5.1. All right. But we are certainly going to be the, do this uh, upgrade. We're going to continue. It doesn't look much better, but it is certainly getting uh, scaled up. I hope you um, you like this kind <clears throat> kind of different thing because we're not actually upgrading but you really have to have a good understanding about what is going on and how to eke out a bit more why did we not put any lights in this one i don't know we should so that's uh we're going to continue trying to squeeze out more and this is basically where you do sort of towards transition into a mega base well this is not going to be a mega base it's going to be an intermediate base and then we'll do mega basing afterwards with sort of a distributed designs and that kind of thing which it also naturally transitions into. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you are enjoying it and I hope to see you in the next episode as we progress with the scale up and sort of tweaking of the space just to get it all the way up to uh, the maximum we can get out of a base of this size. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care and stay effective.